What's going on YouTube? Uh, first of all, there's Tara. Tara, say hi. Tara. Say hi. Okay, now that I made you all dizzy, <laughs> if you haven't noticed, I've been gone for a few weeks. Um, I was going to do some recording, um, but I just wanted to spend time with me and my wife. Um, we met up with our daughters in South Carolina. My daughter's in the Navy. My other daughter goes to college in Florida, so <clears throat> so she was back visiting at college. But uh, we met up with them along the trip. We traveled all the way around the U.S. Um, we started in uh, Washington, then we went to straight to South Carolina to see our daughter. Then we went to Ohio to see some of my family, Michigan to see some friends. Then we went back to South Carolina to see our daughter again. She's only allowed to see us on the weekends. So we did that. Then we went to Florida to see our other daughter and meet her boyfriend's parents. Then we went over to Louisiana to check out New Orleans. We went to the Grand Canyon through Texas, uh, Las Vegas, um, made our way back up. Overall, it was like 9,000 miles, but we just got home um, yesterday and then we had to go to the emergency room because her she had some issues over the trip and we didn't want to take her to a hospital that she didn't know so we spent another uh 12 or 14 hours in the emergency room yesterday it's been it's been a crazy three and a half weeks i want to say three and a half weeks i put my last video out um while i was on the trip the paint video if you haven't seen the paint video i'll link it here you have to see the paint it came out beautiful i only give you a sneak peek because i want it to you know, you to get the whole thing when I'm get the fenders and everything on. It's going to be amazing. I still have to paint the rest of the body panels, but I just want to do an update today. <clears throat> As you can see, I haven't been home for like uh, three weeks, three and a half weeks. So my yard is like two foot tall. This is where my dogs play. <laughs> That's every bit of two and a half foot three foot this is a, a four foot t-post so <laughs> that'll uh, give you a little perspective I need to get to mowing so what I'm gonna do right now is uh, get the mowers and weed eaters they haven't been used all season so I already got the weed eater and the blower leaf blower I got those two running topped them off with fresh fuel check the oil in the four stroke two stroke obviously it doesn't need it um, I use high octane non-ethanol fuel it's expensive but I don't use my equipment a lot so it gets stored a lot you don't want to store ethanol a lot so <clears throat> the only thing left I got is the mower so I'm probably gonna get on that I'm sure you guys don't want to see me well I guess we can take a walk down here real quick it's our motor home that's what we traveled in. 9,000 miles on that old girl. Did great. It, uh, in the desert in Nevada, it overheated a few times. Um, I flushed out the fluids, the coolant, and refilled them. And it helped a little bit, but it was still like, you know, the needle is here. And for it to overheat, it's like a, a little eighth of an inch. We were right there, and you could smell the coolant. But uh, we made it through the desert in Nevada. It was crazy. It was a once in a lifetime opportunity. Um, and if you haven't done it, uh, see the Grand Canyon. That was probably the most amazing thing that I've ever seen in my life. Um, besides my wife, that is. <laughs> Shameless plug here. Get some brownie points. Anyways, uh, Grand Canyon, so amazing. She wasn't able to walk very far, um, but they have parking for RVs that is pretty close to one of the, the viewing points so we were able to park pretty close and they have a handicap for RV first time I've ever seen it and uh, so we got out and walked and oh man it's amazing I don't want to ruin it for you guys if maybe I'll put the a picture I'll put a picture yeah, I'll put a picture. It'll be the very first picture you see. Sound good?
Turtle, say hi. That's the bug. Unfortunately, I don't have the space to keep it inside. So it's wrapped up like a Christmas present outside. All right, we're gonna come inside, close the door. Uh, since the mower is good, I just created a bunch of background noise. That's awesome. As you can see, nothing's changed in the garage. Paint booth is still here. Parts are still over there in the corner. I haven't done anything. Um, I haven't been home. Anyways, this video is probably getting li long. This is just an update. Um, I should, within the next few days, I still have to unload the camper and everything. But after that, I should be able to get the bug parts out, build some stands, which I will bring you along for the ride so we can figure out how we're gonna hang it from the ceiling and stuff. Um, then we're gonna have to sand it down Basically everything we did on the bug we're gonna have to do on that. I know it's sometimes it gets boring and repetitive, but that's all I got <laughs> and uh, We're gonna do the best we can and uh, we'll try and get some content out in the next week or so um, We'll go from there anyways uh, Just an update for you if you could like comment subscribe um, You know uh, If you could send prayers for my wife if you don't know what's going on with her um, I'll leave a link and it'll be the first pin comments for our GoFundMe. Um, it's for funeral expenses basically. So this, our trip we took was a bucket list trip. Um, it's probably the last trip she'll do. But uh, it'll, I don't want to get too involved because it'll get emotional and I don't want to be like that on YouTube. So anyways, like, comment, subscribe, uh, check out the GoFundMe. Thanks for sticking with me. Um, send prayers. All that good stuff is always welcome, and we will see you on the next one. Thanks.